Floods in Hungary are set to peak, but there are fears of more rain in Central Europe. Reinforcements have been made in the capital Budapest after the Danube burst its banks, threatening historic sites. The river is expected to reach eight and a half meters above its normal level. Well, let's uh, take you to uh, Budapest now and uh, join our correspondent Pablo Guterres. Um, Pablo, what's uh, the latest on uh, the water levels and how is Hungary preparing? Well, that's right, Jamie. Let me first tell you where we're at. Uh, we are located about 20 minutes north of the city center in Budapest. The city center is well protected, but the situation is not the same here. Let me show you just a little bit of how the streets look. They have been turned into rivers. This area that you're looking at right now it stretches about three kilometers. There are thousands of people that live here, and right now they're all without power. Many had to leave yesterday. Others decided to hunker down and stay here. At about five o'clock in the morning, the Danube reached uh, 8.3 meters. It's expected that uh, it may gradually start uh, that water level may start coming down. Let me show you a little bit more of what we're seeing here. You are going to see this long uh, stretch of dirt. This is sort of a secondary line of defense that was built here. But neighbors on this side, they're saying that they didn't get the help they've been asking for, not in five or ten years, but much more than that. I'm going to show you a sign right here that one of the residents put... Um, he uh, built this house, it's in Hungarian, but I'm going to tell you what it says. He built this house in 1954. They were promised, it says there, that they would get some sort of protections. It's been 70 years, it says. Where is the help? Where is the help is something that I keep hearing from residents in this area. We have seen police, they are driving up and down this road, but we have not seen any rescue operations, any first responders uh, taking and helping people out. What we have seen is neighbors with boats reaching out, taking uh, some of their neighbors out to buy groceries and get the things that they need. Right now, we're also hearing that PAX 2 is under a water 2 level uh, advisory or uh, uh, advisory mainly. Uh, so there could be more power outages. There could be more gas outages in the city. The other thing that we're being told by the city is that uh, they are looking into trying to get some sort of aid here, but it's unclear when that will happen. Uh, and uh, what sort of help they're going to get. These people, they were flooded back in 2013 when the, a big part of Hungary, Budapest, uh, uh, suffered uh, damages because of a flood. They had to fix it themselves. They tell me they didn't get any aid from the government or, uh, or anybody else. They had to fix their own properties, clean them up, and yet they remain here. Um, so that is as far as the situation is uh, here in this northern suburb, this northern part of Budapest. We're waiting to hear more, and so are neighbors in this area. Jamie, back to you.